Hey there, everyone. This is Lane with Signal Genesis. In this video, I'm going to share with you basically the process and workflow that I go through personally to produce an article that I want to, you know, include in my ranking strategy. Now, this is the same workflow and process that we teach our writers, um, but they're not going to put as much emphasis on the strategy and um, all the links and all that because they're just simply writing the articles. But they're going to use some of these strategies in terms of just, you know, how to target keywords and how to focus on keywords inside, you know, your article writing process. So um, this is the process that that I recommend you follow with every article you put into Signal Genesis and push out to um, the media sites, the media room, um, blogs, however, you know, where, however and wherever you, you might push content for you and or your clients. I'm going to go through these steps really quick at a high level, and then I'm then going to um, kind of work on building an article in real time. I'll pause at times so I, I don't have to have a super long video, um, but I'm going to basically build an article from scratch, um, and then um, I'll show you how I do that kind of over my shoulder here recording it. So number one, research. Get it right. Research is really, really important. I have a list of tools below that I use for my research. I'll go through those tools kind of here in a second. Number two, Make sure that you're targeting only one to two target keywords at most per article and your GMB business categories are keywords. So just know that and, and target one or two keywords at most per article. Number three, always try to include the semantically related keywords in the content. So as you're writing your article, uh, make sure you have a good list of semantically related keywords. If you're using a tool like SEMrush and their content writing template, uh, or uh, Page Optimizer Pro or Surfer SEO, those tools will give you that, that information. Um, use uh, your H2, H3, H4 section headings. And then in combination with that, use the people also ask or PAA questions from your target keywords uh, in search as your section headings, all right? That's kind of one of my little secret tools that I use to really give Googlebot a lot of uh, love in on-page signals, right? Um, take those people also ask questions directly from search for the target keyword that you're going after. Google gives you those people also ask questions, take those, copy them, paste them exactly as Google gives them to you and use those as your section headings. You'll see me do that in just a second. Number six, um, answer the question. All right, so here's a question, answer it. Um, uh, you can always do more than answer it, but um, using these questions uh, and answer in your uh, article also allows you to use Q&A schema or FAQ schema. Uh, so, you know, this is a, a really good, you get to knock out a bunch of things by using the PAA as your section headings. Okay. Number seven, uh, make your first link a do follow link to your target GMB or web page you want to rank. Uh, number eight, make your last link in the article a do follow to the previous or relevant article or press release in your media rooms. So this is the stacking link. Uh, if you're going to do these in stacks, then make your last link in the article a do follow to the URL of the previous uh, media room article URL. Okay. Number nine, all links uh, in between the first and the last should be no follow. So first link do follow, uh, last link do follow, everything in between no follows. That's just how I like to do it. There's not like a rule that says you have to do it that way. That's just a uh, best practice that uh, we find that works. All right. Number 10, include images in your article from a related or relevant GMB post. Okay. It's got to be a GMB post. It can't be a GMB photo. It's got to be a post image, and then you can take that image address URL and you can drop those directly into uh, your article. I'll show you how I do that in just a moment as well. Number 11, include YouTube videos. Include YouTube videos in your articles. You can drop YouTube videos or Vimeo for that matter right inside your Signal Genesis articles, but um, YouTube gives more love than Vimeo, so uh, I like to use YouTube. Uh, number 12, add city names and zip codes into your content for local, local relevance and proximity signals. So um, include those geo uh, indicators, those city names, zip codes, neighborhoods, things like that uh, into your content. Um, that will give Googlebot more clues in how relevant your, uh, your content is um, on a hyper-local basis. Number 13, make sure your images are no wider than 550 pixels inside the body of the articles if they're going to go out for distribution to the media sites. Some of the media sites have really narrow kind of bodies, and if you have larger images, it kind of makes it all wonky and look weird. So just that's just kind of a quick little tip on your image usage. Um, number 14, when structuring and or writing and structuring your content, 
Think in terms of signals. How many different ways can you give Googlebot or RankBrain a signal in your content? Train Googlebot, train RankBrain. Um, really um, give Googlebot all those different signals um, in your content. So here are some you know, ways to do that. Link signals, obviously I talked about that. Do follows and no follows are signals, but only do follow links past real page rank or authority, which is also why I only like to use two. I don't wanna dilute my do follows use, you know, using five, six, all, you know, all those do follows, all you're doing is diluting all of the page rank and authority you would normally pass amongst all of those links. So focus on one to two links with your do follows, make everything else no follows. They're still all great link signals. Number, uh, letter B, uh, GMB signals, links to the GMB using the CID link, the PID link or place ID link, the entity ID link, and the Google share link. Vary it. Use all of them, right? Uh, Google loves all of them. Um, I especially like the CID link and the EID links. You can get those using the tools that I, uh, I, I list down here below. Um, GMB post image signals link to a GMB post or a GMB business uh, dot site. Another GMB signal uh, links to Google reviews with an image from a GMB post, which is an image of a review. All right. Uh, all sorts of ways you can get creative uh, to create GMB signals within your content. All right. On-page signals are your H tags, your structured sections with people also ask questions, your images, your videos, um, audios or podcasts you put in. Google loves rich media, rich content, right? Not just static, flat, written content. It loves to see rich content with images and videos and uh, links to other authority sources. Uh, you know, give Google Bot an incredible experience because Google Bot will crawl all that, and Google loves loves those things because it knows that people or the users love rich um, article or page experiences as well. Uh, use your semantically related keywords throughout your content and then local signals. Uh, use city names, zip codes, neighborhoods in your content, link to local authorities, points of interest like museums, parks, government sites, um, neighborhoods. Um, use the authority of local points of interest, local government websites in a no-follow manner, right? Link to them in a no-follow link, but you're creating a connection for Google, right? And you're gonna be borrowing on the authority and also creating local signals to let Google know, hey, this content's really hyper-local about this particular city or this particular neighborhood even, but you know, whatever you're trying to target and really drive the map pack and organic rankings to, okay? Um, research and writing tools that I use, SCM Rush, I already mentioned that. I use keywords everywhere extension inside my Google searches. I do use Google searches quite a bit inside my research, right? Because Google search is the ultimate tell of what you're doing and what's happening. So I use the GMB Crush Chrome extension by uh, Matteo. Uh, him and his team do a great job with that Chrome extension. Highly recommend that. Um, the Pleeper Chrome extension gives you different information. Also good. I mentioned Page Optimizer Pro or Pop or Surfer. Uh, and then Conversion.ai. I'm going to use some or all of these tools here uh, in the next part of this video. Um, and so at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and begin to uh, build my article um, from the get-go. So I'm going to pause here and just show you a couple of things uh, real quick here and then get to, um, uh, get to writing the article. Okay, first thing, Google search. Like I said, it's a tool that I use. So I'm going to target SEO software in this article, okay? So I do my, my root keyword search, and you want to get as close to the root as you can to get the biggest idea of the total market area of keywords, right? Um, so SEO software, 5,400 searches per month. I'm using the keywords everywhere, uh, which is this K here. I'm using that keyword Chrome extension. Um, it gives me this information, gives me uh, other related keywords. Uh, people also search for all that. So I can download or copy these. I can use these in my... Uh, as semantically related keywords. So, um, you know, I might uh, copy these um, if I wanted to. I don't really want to copy all of these because I'm not going to use all of these um, in uh, my article, but you could copy them or you could export them and then just use them however you see fit in the, the next step. But um, I first get a handle on my keyword. I'm also going to get my people also ask questions here. All right. So what is the best SEO software? So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to begin to go into Signal Genesis and build my article. So I've already got one here dialed up for Signal Genesis. So I'm going to do this. Uh, by the way, this is a brand new website. It just we just turned on um, off the no index um, tag uh, in, in robots.txt yesterday. Um, so today is the first full day that 
Um, the Signal Genesis website is actually um, live and being indexed. So we're starting with a fresh domain, a fresh website, um, has no authority at all, um, just launched it. So um, yeah, we've done some of the work to get the site set up um, and at least some uh, basic uh, information here. Uh, as you can see here, I've got my homepage. The homepage is what I'm going to actually, uh, I've optimized for SEO software. So this is our actual homepage. You can see I've got a rank mass score of 96 out of 100 for that target keyword. So you want to make sure that whatever page that you're going to start ranking or pushing um, signals to using Signal Genesis, that you've got that peg, I'm sorry, page um, picked out and optimized appropriately. Okay, so um, I've already got that done. Um, this is basically our you know our homepage for Signal Genesis. Uh, you can see our SEO software here. Uh, I've got it in you know different places throughout the site or the homepage, sorry. Um, and so this page is pretty well optimized for SEO software. That's one that we're going to actually uh, to kind of build around and work on linking. Um, so the next step is to start actually building my content. So in SEM Rush, this is one of the tools I use. I use their SEO content template. And you can see here, you can just come in here and you can type in SEO software, or in this case, I've already run that. So just for sake of time, I'll type in a different keyword, white label SEO software. It's another keyword that we want to actually rank for. And you can just create the SEO template. What SCM Rush does, it goes out, finds all the top 10 um, websites that are ranking on page one for that keyword, does an analysis of their page that's actually ranking, gives us an analysis of that content uh, related keywords, and gives us kind of a nice structure um, for um, our SEO content. So while that's running, I also have uh, conversion.ai, which is what I use here. So I'll start from scratch there. And um, the title is um, SEO software company uh, launches. Um, and we'll just leave it there. And uh, this article is about uh, SEO software and the uh, signal Genesis crap, SEO software platform, okay? Keywords, SEO software, white label SEO software, and we'll leave it at medium length and we'll hit compose. All right, we'll let, um, I'm gonna have to use and move this bubble up here a little bit. And uh, we'll hit compose here and we'll let uh, Jarvis do its thing while um, SCM Rush is running its thing. And here you can see I've got uh, that back here now. So we've got SEO recommendations. Uh, if I go back to our SEO content template, you can see I've got um, that here. I can view it or I can export it to doc. I actually lost the one I ran uh, before. So I'll quick run that one as well. And we'll see how uh, Jarvis has started. All right. So. Jarvis has started writing, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, the article, and I've just obviously got to keep typing here. Uh, so we're not including keyword research tools. That's not going to be uh, applicable. So we're going to talk uh, type in um, uh, the ability to generate all types of or many types, not all. I don't want to be many types of Google ranking signals using Signal Genesis platform. And then we can let Jarvis maybe go again, see what Jarvis produces. We'll come back to SCM Rush, and now I've got this as well. And you can see, all right, so these are the different pages that are ranking, and you can see our different uh, content here. Um, and so, you know, I might come in here and copy some of that and come back in here. And Jarvis is still writing. And you can see here how that um, actually typed uh, brought in some html so i'll just put it in here and strip all that html out um, and then go back to my, my here and i'm gonna uh, just keep doing this and um, i will 
just be, keep working on uh, massaging and building this article using my SEO content template. I'm using Jarvis, um, and then I may even use Page Optimizer Pro as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and uh, pause this for a minute and just go write this article and get a good um, space to it, uh, or I mean, a good some good um, just a basis for this. Okay, so what I do here in Jarvis is I just kind of get the basis of the content, um, enough content that I can kind of work with, and then once I have it here, I'm going to go and put it into Signal Genesis and really begin to build the, the real um, article and I'll optimize it there. I'm only using Jarvis and SDM Rush now to just get some content written quickly and easily without me having to type it all out and do a lot of brain power thinking to at least start. Okay, so I'm going to um, just get this kind of built out for a few minutes and then I'll come back and keep recording. Okay, folks, I'm back with you right here. And um, in uh, what I did here is I actually um, I gave up using conversion dot AI. Um, I like it, but I also uh, get frustrated with it. It um, doesn't seem to put out the content that I look for. And sometimes it even seems to slow me down. So um, I used SEM rush, uh, like I showed you before, I gave up on conversion dot AI, I had about, I don't know, 300 words of content that I developed there. And then from there, I just um, put it in a, a Google Doc and have built it out from there. I've spent a total of about 45 minutes um, just writing this article and building it out. Um, and I'll go through um, basically how I built it out once I got it out of conversion.ai. Again, uh, probably only the first uh, maybe top part of this article I did there. Um, and then I brought it in here into Google Docs. Um, I looked at what else I had here. Um, in uh, pages that were actually already ranking for the target keyword SEO software. Um, I got some ideas from there. I'll close out of that. I'm done with conversion.ai. So you can see what I had there. I just kind of gave up there. Um, and um, then I also just did my own um, software or uh, searching here. I used the people also ask questions. So coming in here, um, what I did is um, I um, did some branding um, in the top paragraph. Um, I used uh, our secondary keyword in as a section heading right here in the second paragraph and then talked about there. And then um, actually I'm trying to teach Googlebot a, a new question. This um, really needs to be an actual question out there um, because it, in, in all respects, really no one distinguishes uh, of what types of SEO software are there actually because um, in, in my experience, uh, 12 years in digital marketing, m almost all of the SEO software that's out there is all research SEO software. Like you can do it to do keyword research, competitive intelligence research, analytic research, or you can do reporting, rank, uh, uh, keyword ranking uh, and uh, tracking of keyword rankings, um, visualizing of the, those rankings um, and reporting on it. Um, but very, very few software out, software solutions out there that actually move the needle in, 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 and actually help you get rankings, right? I mean, um, the software uh, that helps us do research is essential. I use it. I'm going to talk about it in this article. And I actually begin to make the, the distinction here because I believe the SEO community actually needs to understand that there's different types of SEO software those that I would categorize as research solutions or analytics and tracking solutions, and I put that in here, and then those that actually help users move the needle in actual search rankings. So I talk about that there. Um, I then took um, a piece out of my, the, 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 this very um, tip sheet that I developed here. So I'm, I'm I took a bunch out of there and actually just you know repurposed it right here. Um, what is the best SEO software? You know, I talked about that. I quoted myself. Uh, you can do this. You can do this for clients. You can do it on their behalf. You can do it for your own selves, whatever. Um, and I just built um, this uh, this out. And um, this is an, uh, people also ask questions. So you can see it's tag is an H2. Here's another people also ask question directly from Google search. What software do SEO companies use? Um, and then I link out to some of our, our my favorite tools. Like I said, I talk about that down here. Um, shout out to um, one of our uh, fellow uh, colleagues, Mateo at GMB Crush. Uh, they have a great Chrome extension that you can use in all of your uh, kind of doing some GMB auditing and um, doing research on the local space. Um, 
Um, I talk about um, <laughs> SEO software and services that I don't need to use anymore because of the launch of Signal Genesis and link out to some of them, and then some of them I don't link to at all. Um, and then uh, another people also ask question. Um, I basically simply answer that question, get get a Signal Genesis account, and then here are uh, my own tips for optimizing articles. Um, I copied and pasted this from my own tip sheet, so you can you can repurpose content, right? Um, that you have elsewhere. And then here, uh, this is actually linking out to a Google search for people also ask. So I did a search, a Google search, people also ask, and then link to it. Um, this will be a no-follow link, but I'm still linking to a Google search. Google loves that. Here I'm linking to um, our actual Signal Genesis YouTube uh, channel. And uh, so anyway, those are ways that I created lots of rich linking in here. All right. So now I've written my, my, uh, my article. I've got my headline. I've got my blog headline. I've got my body of my content, except for my images and videos, which I'm going to show you how to do that now in Signal Genesis. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this headline and I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to go into Signal Genesis here. And you can see, I'm just going to refresh this to make sure I don't lose uh, anything here. So this is about this company. Yes, this is all right. Yeah, I've got the right map here. Let's go to step two. All right, here's our headline. I'm just going to paste it right in. We're good to go. Okay. If you do get past 80 characters, our system will alert you and let you uh, know you can't go past 80 characters. I'm going to take our blog headline from right here. I'm going to copy that, come here and paste. Uh, I'll take my Google document link here and just as a reference, put it right here. This is only a reference link, this Google document link here. Okay. It's only a reference link. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, just FYI. Okay. I'm going to come back here to the body of my article. I'm going to literally copy the entire thing all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. I'm going to come in here to Quantum. Sorry, Signal Genesis. Still got Quantum on my mind here. All right. And I'm going to fix my spacing in here. And it didn't take my, oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Fix some of that the way it pasted in, it's fine. Just make sure you go through this. Oop. And uh, go through this good when you do that pace because sometimes the pace doesn't always work. Okay. And we want these to be bullet points so we can do that. Okay. Clean up these, the spacing so it is nice and tight. You can see it brought in my H tagging right from Google Docs, which is nice. And then I'm going to show you how to insert your images and videos wherever you want here momentarily. And then finally, we're going to choose our summary, blog summary, and our anchor tags. And then we're basically going to be done. Um, without the final step being just uh, setting it all up for publication. All right, so we've got this all set up here. We've got our H tags in here. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, you can see I'm running the Grammarly Chrome extension directly in my browser and our software works with Grammarly. So you can use that to uh, make uh, the little um, suggestions that uh, Grammarly gives you. I like to use them because and uh, like nine over nine times out of ten, Grammarly is right from a formatting and spelling perspective. Um, so it's a great way just to quickly. Yeah, we'll leave that the way. Ah, well, we'll do that. Yeah, that's the right way to do it. See, even that that one's an ignore. Um, we'll dismiss that one. Yes. See, I'm going through this real quick. Uh, skip that. Good, 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 good. Skip that. And, okay, so you can see I'm doing this live here, recording it for you guys, so you can see I'm really going through this article, making sure everything is good to go. I want it to be quality, quality, quality. Never, never sacrifice on that. All right. Now I'm going to go out and I'm going to get a GMB post image. All right. So I've got my GMB image here. I'm going to just bring it over here real quick so you guys can see it. Here's my GMB post image. Uh, I'm going to go over here and hit learn. Oop, 
Nope, don't want that. Uh, I want to go to the post. Here's my image. Okay, so right here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit copy image address. Okay, if I go to a new tab, you'll see there's that image address and it's on a Google domain. We love that. Let's do that. We're going to use that. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I am going to put that image right here. I always like to center justify my images. Once I got the center justify, I'm going to come over here to insert. I'm going to go to image. I'm going to paste. Okay. You can see I've got my image there. I'm going to type in SEO software. This is my target keyword. Use that as the alt image and save. And there's our image right there. Now, one more thing I'm going to do while this image is still highlighted is I'm going to highlight it as an image or tag it, sorry, as an image. Um, so now it's tagged as an image and we could actually link this to the post if we wanted to. So one way you could link uh, to the post is you could come over here and you could actually grab the link, I can't do that yet because this GMB listing is actually so new, it isn't even active yet, all right? Like I said, yesterday we just launched the site, everything went live, we didn't do any of this and make it go live before we did our actual brand reveal and logo reveal, um, so we're still in the process of that, but uh, you could also get grab the link to the post if you want and then come up here to insert link and then link that image to the post or wherever you wanna link that image to, by the way. All right, so I've got an image in there, and then I'm going to come in here, and I'm also going to uh, I'm going to grab our uh, a, a actual um, all the YouTube video, and I'm going to just grab the YouTube URL, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab one of our logo reveal videos and. Just grab the link and then I come over here and I'm going to put that right down here. Again, I like to center justify. This time I go to insert media and YouTube URL, save, and there's our YouTube URL. I'm sorry, YouTube video. And then I'm going to grab the other YouTube logo reveal and I'm going to put that one way down at the bottom here um, under, at, right at the bottom, right at the bottom. Okay, again, center justify, insert media. Um, source our second video there it is lovely and okay so now I've got images I've got video um, I don't have any audio yet but uh, if you had an audio or a podcast I, obviously I like just putting podcasts into a YouTube video you can even if it's just audio only uh, get the love from YouTube but if you have a YouTube uh, or I'm sorry a, a podcast that's great uh, but you can see I've got a very nice structured uh, um, uh, content here I'm gonna just basically take the uh, this first uh, um, paragraph here, I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to go down and make that my summary. Hopefully it's not too long. It is a little too long. So I'm just going to take that out and make it like there. Um, and then I need to go to blog summary. So I usually just take um, um, and use edit and copy inside the body. And then come down here and make that our blog summary and hit continue. Okay, now we're at our final step here, guys. Uh, I'm going to select the main channel. I'm going to drop a few images in here in just a moment. Uh, you can elude it, uh, elude it, include it in Alexa and Google Assistant search if you want, but uh, uh, that's up to you. We'll include it. Uh, I'm going to publish this on uh, Reddit. It's already uh, associated. I'm going to publish it on Twitter. Okay, this is coming for everyone next week. Um, this is in beta for us right now. So you can see this live, but you'll be able to associate or connect your accounts once they're actually associated or connected. Um, you'll actually see active here. Um, right now, you're not seeing active, even though they're already connected. So I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm going to come, come down here, and this is apps and software. And we're going to publish this for the first available date and time. Make that there, and we're going to include the original source in the press release. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to our media room. I'm going to grab our media room URL, and that's the one I'm going to use here uh, as the source. I'm going to choose manually inserted. I'm going to just put paste the link right in here, the media room link. That's the source of the article uh, and the pickups, essentially. Basically, we, uh, we publish the article to the media room. Then media sites can come here and pick it up, obviously, on Signal Genesis. Uh, we're going to be publishing this out um, to the media sites as long as it's not prohibited content. Everything will be good to go. We select this. Um, we've got, I'm going to drop our additional images in here. So um, I'm, before I do that, what I'll do is I'm going to just pull them up over here in a separate screen and pause and uh, bring them back in for you guys. So just stand by. OK, 
Okay. Drag it and drop it. That'll end up being our featured image. Um, and I'm going to go back and drag another image in here. And I'm going to show you one more thing, guys. Um, okay. Uh, so we can come in here and hit the edit key. And you can see here, I'm going to name this file Signal Genesis. I'm going to rename it. It just brought in what it was named here on my computer. And I'm going to make this SEO software platform for agencies and description uh, SEO software. Okay. Again, we're going to target everything on our target keyword. So just make these little changes as you can. Uh, white label SEO software you can just uh, save some time paste and save and now and we're going to actually make this the featured image uh, versus the other one okay you can do that as well on these you can go in here and you can make the one featured image or the other uh, if you have you could have up to 10 in here depending on your level uh, but whatever your max file uh, image files is, you can drag them in here and then you can choose which one you want to be featured if you do want to choose one over the other. Um, we got everything set up here. We're going to go to our final step and hit continue so we can review it. All right. So here's our review. Here's our headline. You don't see the blog headline in here, but you, it will publish out to the media sites. We can see our image, our uh, YouTube video, our section headings. Everything looks great. We got our links. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to do our anchor tags. All right, good thing I didn't uh, forget to do that in the tutorial video. That would have been a major fail. All right, so uh, first is a no, is a do follow. Yes, everything that we want to be no follow, we're just going to select no follow. So no follow. Sorry, Mateo. No follow. No follow. Uh, no follow. No follow. No follow. Uh, no follow. Even though it's a anchor text optimized, I don't want to. I don't have to repeat it, right? I've already got the first one going here. So make sure no follow. Uh, no follow. And I'm going to do a do follow to our YouTube channel and then a no follow back to signalgenesis.com because, again, we already have the first one up here as the same. So I don't want to send a do follow again there uh, right like that. And we're all set with our anchor tags. So really important to set these anchor tags properly. And uh, as I put in the tip sheet, uh, first and last, ideally, um, are your do follows. In this case, it's second to last. But uh, um, everything else typically in between I leave is no follows. I focus my do follows on one to two uh, links to really send some authority there. And we are all set, guys. So I'm going to go back down here to continue and preview one more time. And we can see that we've got it all set up and we are ready to roll. And that concludes um, our, oh, I added the wrong image there. So I don't want that actually that wide image there. Uh, so again, it's always good to preview. And I'm going to delete that image. I added the wrong image there. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and move forward with it. Looks like we've got a little bug here on the push and we need to actually correct that. You can usually delete these images and um and uh but that's right i'll leave that as is and i can always correct it later we're good to go i uh, hope this um thorough um you know walk through here has really helped you guys in terms of how i built this article out um, i used scm rush and some other research tools keywords everywhere gmb crush chrome extension um and i really kind of followed this the steps here I, I included the related keywords i really focused as you can see on my target keywords i use section headings i use the paa i answered the questions i made my first link a do follow second to last link in this case was a, a do follow as well everything else was no follows i included images videos um, i'm not localizing this one okay so that would be a, an instance where if you're really trying to dr drive gmb in a local uh, rankings, then make sure and add city names and zip codes and other things. The other links that you could use obviously could be the signals out to zip codes, neighborhoods, POIs, things like that. In this case, because it's national or global, I linked out to kind of Google searches and some of the uh, competitors um, who are kind of uh, real authorities in the space as well, but software research, not software ranking tools. So um, anyway, that's kind of um, 
the one, two, three on how I built this. Um, I'll include all this as part of the overall uh, help topic and uh, we'll publish this out to the media room. And within um, just a few hours of it being approved, uh, it'll be live on the media room.